Uh, hello, Mr. Potion speaking. Yeah, so Chuck, here's the thing. Who is this? We screwed up. Matt, is that you? Yeah, we can't find Jesus. That can't be. We don't, yeah. Graduation's in four hours. That's not gonna happen. Why not, Abby? Because I have short-term memory loss. Oh, I forgot. Yeah. Hey, you guys, where's Jesus? I don't know. Where? Wait, why Jesus. we didn't wake Jesus up? Where is he? Oh, he's not on the cross. Jesus, Jesus where Christ, are Jesus. you? Jesus. Jesus! He was with Jesus. us last night. Come on, Jesus. Jesus. God. What are we going to do? Guys, let's settle down. Uh, he's probably just uh, somewhere around the school. It's not a big deal. He's not always in the chapel. Uh, we should go check maybe the, the student lounge. He might be there. Okay, okay, okay yeah. yeah. All right, let's go. Guys, I've checked everywhere around the student lounge. He's not here. Oh my god, we lost Jesus. Guys, let's check our pockets to see I mean, if there's something that could possibly remind us of last night. Um, hey, you guys, I found a script in my pocket. Maybe we were not there last night. We should go check. Let's go check. Let's go. I have so many memories in this room from all the rehearsals and that for the musicals and the acting classes. Blanchett's been a really great family and especially dr the drama program because everyone was really free to be themselves and there wasn't any judgment. You could come in from being in any clique or anything like that and just come together and work to create this really great show backstage and on stage and it was just really, really fun and I'm gonna miss it a lot when we're done. What does Jesus dream of when he takes a little savior snooze? Does he dream of curing lepers or Halle Berry in a catwoman suit? Well, don't you worry, you pretty halo head. We're gonna get you back to Mary in your little major bed. And then we're gonna find Father Dog. And then we're gonna ask him where the hell Jesus is. Jesus is not in the theater, so now what do we do? I don't know. Abby, what's that, what's that bulge? Oh, jeez. Oh my gosh. It's a volleyball. Oh, a, Where should we go? We're probably in the gym. Oh, the gym. Yeah. Jesus. Oh, okay, let's go. Let's go. I've had some of my best experiences of high school in this gymnasium and things that I really wish that every high schooler could experience and the energy and fun that goes into playing in, that, in a sports game in this gym particularly with tons of kids coming out decked in green and gold. Probably my favorite memory of high school was winning the state title this year and how tons of kids drove four hours to get to Kennewick and they were decked out in green and gold and they were cheering us on and it was the greatest feeling ever. And um, I think that athletics really help shape kids and mold them into goal-oriented, teamwork, um, aspiring young people. And I think that it's really important um, for that to be stressed in high school. And I wouldn't trade any of these memories that I have in here for anything. And I really wish that every student were able to experience that. And <laughs> go, go Braves. <laughs> All right, well, I couldn't find Jesus here, so now what do we do? How about the classroom? Yeah. OK, everybody spread out, and we'll look around. Oh, yeah. We'll find Jesus. Don't worry. You guys, stop leaving me. Sorry. <laughs> Dude, what's in your teeth? <gasps> Matt! It's my report card. Someone once said, 
There is no easy walk to freedom anywhere. I believe this is true, especially at Bishop Blanchett. I'm gonna be honest with you, I've done about 50% of my homework, but the teachers here have really made it possible for me to be graduating. Some of the greatest teachers that I've had have really inspired me to try my hardest in their class. And that's why I would inspire freshmen, sophomores, and even juniors to do as they go on in their schooling. Try the hardest you can. Because there are teachers in every department that will inspire you and make you excited about their subject. Mr. Hecko, for example, he made me just so pumped for poli sci, something that I thought was just so boring earlier. I'm sorry, poli sci teachers out there. Senora Rodriguez, who just really, I would just really need a good grade in her class. 2.5 preferably, maybe 3.0 if you're just feeling like it's a good day, you know. But on a closing note, I think everyone here, juniors, sophomores, freshmen, and incoming, just 8th graders coming into freshman year, everyone can milk the most out of the, uh, out of the udder of knowledge from the cow that is Blanchett. Guys, we've looked all over the school and we can't find Jesus. What are we gonna do? I guess we should give Boshin the news. Are um, you sure? I guess I'll call him. No. Uh, hello, Mr. Boshin speaking. Yeah, so Chuck, here's the thing. Who is this? We screwed up. Matt, is that you? Yeah, we can't find Jesus. That can't be. We don't. Yeah. Graduation's in four hours. That's not gonna happen. In four hours, Matt. I'm aware. Well, what are you gonna do? I'll bring a bucket. A bucket for what? And by the way, who said you could call me ch What'd he say? He's not happy. Are you, are you guys sure no one has an idea where Jesus is? Well, can we not have graduation without Jesus then? Is graduation canceled? Dude, I know where Jesus is. To me, Blanchett has probably strengthened my faith throughout these four years. They've helped me become more open as a person, and by being open, I've been able to see Jesus in practically everything and everyone. Through all the students, teachers, I've been able to see the good and the grace of God. In the beginning, we thought Jesus was lost, but actually, Jesus is in everything we do. Jesus is in uh, academics. Every time I walk in a classroom and I say, oh my god, just, there's a test today? What? Everyone just studying for the test? Me? No studying, just prayer. Just prayer. Um, Jesus is definitely in athletics, and I feel the presence of Jesus every time I'm in the gym and I'm playing um, in that gym, and there's fans and the community is supporting us, and I can really feel faith and Jesus in that setting. We can see that Jesus is definitely present in the performing arts because everyone is able to come together to create beautiful work that is special and unique for the audience and the people that are on stage. And I think that that's really a testament to the fact that Jesus is in all of us in the community. So we cannot lose Jesus. Jesus is everywhere in the halls of this school. Jesus everywhere. And the people said, Amen. Amen.